voted Topeka's funniest. She did two sold out shows at Crown Center with Jennifer Fulweiler. It is Lindy Kotzer, everybody. <laughs> My achievements are that I've been a mom for 15 years. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I look too young for that. You guys are really sweet. Thank you. Stop. Stop it. I've learned a lot in 15 years. I have. I learned something new every day. For example, my 15-year-old and I took up cycling last summer. We literally biked across Kansas. Biked across Kansas, yeah. So I learned that childbirth is actually not the only time that motherhood has just really messed up my crotch. <laughs> not very funny. <laughs> what has changed in 15 years of parenting? You know, expectations have changed, right? They have. Do you know there's a line on diapers now? It's a line on diapers. Yes, it changes color when it gets wet. Yeah, so it's expected that when the line changes color, you change your diaper. Okay, first of all, yeah, nobody's gonna tell me how to parent, okay? Second of all, my 15-year-old, he won the spelling bee at school last year. Like, whole school, thank you, yes. Yeah. I never, not one single solitary time, changed his diaper before it hung so low that it kind of flapped back and forth between his knees. Yeah, he's fine. I don't care about things anymore that I used to care about, you know? My four-year-old says, I don't like these pants you laid out. I say, they don't like you either. <laughs> I want to make sure, I do like being a parent. I want to make sure that my kids have everything that I had growing up, you know, like dirty fingernails, ringworm. <laughs> <laughs> Being a mom is really stressful, right? You know what stresses me out? I have one open seat in my minivan. <laughs> and you see these moms that are driving the 18 passenger white van? They got the bumper sticker that says, Jesus, I trust in you. That's a lot of trust, man. <laughs> I, I think moms got to stick together. I, I saw mom actually at a basketball game a few weeks ago. She came up to me and she said, something happened and I got to tell you about it. You're going to I thought, that is the, the sweetest thing. Tell me, I want to hear it. I want to I know all about it. She said she was cleaning her house and she, she was in the kitchen and she found this cup. It was kind of wedged in between her refrigerator and the cabinets way back in there. So she got it out. She said it smelled horrible. She thought maybe that the kids had left some, like, chocolate milk in there. Yeah. Yeah. Her kid took a dump in this cup and hid it. And she thought of me! <laughs> so we, um, we actually took up foster parenting because we're not really that good at being regular parents without maybe foster parenting would be <laughs> easier. Uh, I'm not kidding. We went to the first meeting and they, they said they have this big marketing push in the state of Kansas right now. They wanted to know if we'd put a sign in our yard. And I said, sure, that's fine, whatever, I don't care. So we take it home, we put it in the yard, and it says, we need foster parents. I'm like, great, then the neighborhood's gonna love this. <laughs> The old lady, neighbor lady in church that weekend, she, she said, I saw your sign, what's going on over there? I said, Listen, Marsha, my kids are fine. And my husband kind of elbowed me and he said, wait, wait, is she interested? We could charge a rehoming fee. <laughs> <laughs> then, so we went through the classes, met our caseworker. She showed up to one of my comedy shows. I'm not kidding, right? I'm like, what am I gonna do? Because all my jokes are about what a terrible mom I am. <laughs> and I thought, well, I don't really need foster kids that bad. And I could really use this 20 bucks. So I just did it. I just did the whole thing. And then after the show, I went up to her and I was like, so what do you think? Are we out? 
<laughs> she said, no, no, you're fine. You're fine. That was great. You're absolutely fine. And that is how bad we need foster parents. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I'm going to